Yes, yes. Oh, I just watched the balloon boat get eaten. I gotta get this line in. Okay, give me a minute to sort my stuff out and I'll uh, we'll get some get some video of him. Oh, I need a breath. I'm at one of my favourite locations in Western Australia right now. I've driven 10 hours through the night. It's quarter past one in the morning. Heading into an amazing piece of coastline. And this is trip number four for me to try and get a mackerel. So it's happening. This time it's happening. I'm having a cursed run for them and nothing seems to be working. But I've got three and a half days to make it happen and we are going to get a mackerel. It's on. I'm going to race in, set up camp get a few hours sleep and then we'll be up in the morning and sending out some baits. Can't wait. Right, I'm ready to go fishing. It took a little bit longer than I thought this morning, but fishing on my own, I've had to make sure everything's set up properly. I got all my safety stuff sorted. Everything's ready to go because I can't be running back to the car mid-fight to grab something, so all got to be set up ready to go but i've got my balloon ready bait ready let's do it send the balloon out and then spin until my arms fall off or we catch a mackerel whichever one happens first let's uh run through this mackerel rig hopefully it's not too windy so what we've got we got a lot of hooks. I, I like to run a big treble in the back. A few big hooks, because we're putting a whole garfish on as bait. So you can see when I've got them all laid out, the hooks take up the whole length of the garfish. Then it's obviously on wire because we're chasing mackerel with teeth. A little pink squid on the top sits over the top of the bait. Just a bit of extra attractant. About a metre or so of wire up to a swivel. I put a little stopper bead to stop the knot from getting damaged. And above that, we've got a swivel sliding on our main line. And then we've got, if I can get the balloon to come near us. So the balloon line slides on a swivel on the main line. I've got about 20 pound mono and about 30 meters of it up to a balloon. Um, the balloon, you run longer leaders if it's windier, shorter leaders if it's not as windy, so the bait's more in contact with the, uh, with the balloon and it splashes harder. Because what you're trying to do with this is imitate a flying fish on the surface. You're trying to get that bait skipping across the surface, basically like a popper. So the balloon carries the bait out with the wind and it'll drag it across the surface until the mackerel sees it and has a go at it. So there's a fine art to getting the, uh, the amount of gas and size of the balloon and everything right, but they're 90 centimeter latex balloons and they're filled with helium to keep the bait up on the surface because helium's lighter than air. So we'll rig our bait up and I'll show you what it should look like splashing out there. Okay, when rigging the bait, you want it as straight as possible. And I like to have the hook points facing out as much as I can, because this bait is gonna be smashing on the surface for hours and you want it to stay together. So all your wire nice, needs to be nice and sitting straight and nice and tight. The hook point's sitting out, because when that fish has that one hit that it's got to hook up, you want to get a hook into it. So if the hook points are facing out, you've got a much better chance of hooking up. And then we ghost cotton the whole lot to tie it all together because it's going to be out there for maybe a couple of hours getting smashed to bits on the surface, skipping across it. So you don't want your bait falling apart because I don't know how, but mackerel can see when a bait's not perfect. When it's smashing on the surface, they know that it's not right and they won't touch it. So your bait has to be perfect. We'll uh, chuck some ghost cotton on it. You really want to hold those hooks straight so they stay in the same spot and don't move. 
So there's plenty of ghost cotton on that and just work our way up the bait to hold everything all together. Last bit to hold the bill of the garfish to the hook shank, just to keep that hook straight so it doesn't tear out of the head. That'll do. And then the squid. So it doesn't slide back up your main line. I like to pull it down over the bill and pull it all the way down over the eye of the hook. Like that. So I've had a couple of mackerel where this squid has slid up the main line while I'm hooked up. I've had another mackerel come through and eat the squid off the line and cut me off and lose the fish that I was hooked up to. So I like to try and make sure that's right the way down. And that's our skip bait, ready to be sent back out there. Okay. So we've got the bait here ready to go. Balloon's there, we create a bit of a V just to get it away from the rocks. And then you hold your line where, hold your main line, don't let any more out. Throw your bait. And you'll see it skip out and the balloon will slide down to the bait. Like that. And then you just keep letting it out as far as you want. So here today, I'm trying to get out past all the stirred up water in close and I'm sending out about 300. You can see that bait. If I close the bow arm and hold it, you can see the bait gets lifted out of the water, splashed down and dragged across. That's exactly what you want. It'll lift up quite high sometimes and then it'll come back down, splash into the water. This has got to be some of the most visual bait fishing you'll ever see because you can watch these mackerel launch clean out of the water and have a go at a bait. They'll be five meters up out of the water to eat that in the air and it's, it's insane to watch. All right, let's get this bait out further. You can use any setup really for this. Most people use overheads. I've just got a big enough and heavy enough rod that holds enough line in spin to do it this way. I've got 850 meters of 50 pound on this reel, which is more than enough for this spot. I'm only sending out 300, so you can get away with a reel that has six, 700 on it. Uh, I'll probably leave it about there, which is about 200 out because I did hook one on spin earlier and have a tuner on spin. I have seen a few more fish in closer and the further out you've got, the further you've got to wind it back in past all the sharks. So if it's in closer, you've got a better chance of landing a fish, I think, some, some days. Some days you can do absolutely everything and you'll get every fish eaten by a shark. So we'll leave it about there. Oh, I just seen a tuna jump right out the back. About eight, 900 out, I just seen a big tuna jump. I'm not going to send it out that far. That's a bit far. Okay, so we set the drag so that there's a couple of kilos of pressure so the balloon can't pull line off, but there's enough to set the hooks because you've only got that one chance of that fish hitting the bait. So you really need to set the hooks right then and there. A little bit more out. Cool. Chuck the rod in the rod holder and sit and watch until it gets eaten. So, rod's ready to go, bait's out there splashing around. We just wait till it gets eaten now. Cast. 
this is a good mac too oh last thing i need now is the other rod to go off okay. better run back Oh, please don't get sharked. Oh, there it is there. Oh, good Spanish. Oh, good Spanish. Oh, this is hard solo. I'm wrecked after this flight already. Okay, I've got the fish. Oh no, he's off. I'm just gonna wait for these scents. I am absolutely wrecked. Oh man. I'm just gonna wait for these scents. This is hard. Nope. Come on, buddy. This would have been so much easier with the rope gap, now that I think about it. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. So far I've had one big explosion, lost that mackerel and then just pulled hooks on a tuna. Oh, far out and had the balloon bait have a fish have a go at it but missed the bait so far crazy morning yes yes oh i just watched the balloon bait get eaten i gotta get this line in Go fish, go, go, go. Yes, good mackerel. Oh, good mac. I'm knackered already. And the sun hasn't even came up yet. I'm not fit enough for this. Please don't get sharked. Oh, please, please, please don't get sharked. So close now. Okay, he's not far away now. Oh, there's the fish. I can see it. Oh, foul hooked him. How has that happened? 
is only little, but somehow I have foul hooked. This little guy. Mackerel! Woo! First of the trip. <sighs> Bit smaller than the one that I got on spin. <sighs> awesome! <sighs> oh, I'm absolutely exhausted. <sighs> That's what I was after. Spanish mackerel off the rocks. So good! Woo. Finally, after four trips, I got one. These things are my favourite eating fish. I'm uh, going to chop this one up. I think I'm going to have some for lunch. If I, maybe I might get a bit keen and go for another fish, but I'm definitely having some for dinner. I'll cook some up. These things are so tasty. My favourite. Alright, it's going to chop up. One mackerel, packed up, ready to go in the fridge.